Your Majesties, Excellencies, colleagues and friends. I recently visited the forest faculty in Umeå, in the north of Sweden, where Ann-Sophie and I studied forestry once upon a time. It's a good feeling to be back, and it struck me again how much Sweden and Indonesia can learn from each other when it comes to forestry. Today we have a moment to demonstrate how important forestry is for the future we want. We want sustainable development for all, and in this seminar we want to show how forestry contributes to every dimension and all the goals. So, if we talk about eliminating poverty and hunger, improving health, building smart cities, providing water and renewable energy, education, ensuring rights, gender equality and equal opportunities, building strong institutions, securing climate on earth, conserving and restoring life on land and underwater, making reliable investments and value chains, and building new partnerships, and perhaps most of all caring for the well-being and future of our children and their children, and so on. Forestry embraces all of this, and therefore is what our efforts at C4 are about. Our strategy, as you can see on the screen, is designed to contribute to all of the 17 sustainable development goals that the world has agreed on. Through our research teams, we ensure that focus is maintained on each aspect of the SDG framework. In contrast, in the public debate among advocacy organizations, in national policies and in the international negotiations, we usually hear about forests as an environment issue. Global challenges such as climate change, ending deforestation and protecting wildlife take up most of the bandwidth in media. And of course, these are real and very, very important challenges. But unfortunately, the priorities and needs of lo local and rural communities seldom make the headlines. Communities which are often among the world's poorest and disadvantaged. This is where the benefits and opportunities of forestry come together and have the greatest impact. And this is where our focus needs to be. So seeing how the wealthy parts of the world consider forests, one could say that forests have been put in the global environment corner. And to that I say, nobody puts forest in a corner. Let me turn to the topic of research. Everyone here in the Global Forestry Hall agree that research is an essential ingredient in development. This is why C4 and our sibling organization, ICRAF, deliver high quality science that is credible and relevant for policy and practice. This is the core of our mission. But science is under threat. Defending the credibility and relevance of science has become a mission in itself. We live in a world where post-truth populism and alternative facts often set the political agenda. A world where scientists see the need to take to the streets to advocate for their mission. And in that process, ra risking to profile science as just another special interest. As a result, funds for research are increasingly difficult to mobilize. We feel that pressure as well. It is less politically opportune to invest in science. I want to extend my hope to Indonesia as our host country and Sweden as one of CIFOR's founding countries and a leading forest country in the world to stand up for science in general and funding of forestry research in particular. Science, however, necessary is not sufficient. At CIFOR we are clear that doing excellent research is in itself not enough to achieve the impact we, want, we, we aspire to. So that is why we also emphasize learning. We help develop a forest faculty in Eastern Congo. We support Indonesian students to acquire master degrees overseas. We carry out a variety of trainings and prepare educational material. Learning based on science is the basis for that sustainable future we want. We also emphasize outreach and engagement. Forestry research is not worth much unless it is communicated, understood, and ultimately used by many. This, we believe, is also the path to regain a broad trust in science. 
post post truth if you like finally i want to talk about landscapes and the need for integrated solutions so much of our future depends on how we manage our landscapes in the nordic countries we share a history of poverty many of you recognize this painting from the late 19th century it's from finland but it could have been sweden the situation of poor people living off the land and in our countries we made a long journey since then thing is we still have this reality in many places around the world this is a recent picture from brazil and i'm sure you can see the similarities so we can say that if we are to achieve sustainable development then it is in landscapes we must place our hope we have a tendency to isolate sectors as experts and to isolate institutions but in the landscapes the solutions must come together across agriculture forestry mining energy water finance infrastructure tenure rights and law we don't seem to pay enough attention on how this integration is to happen and actually real landscapes are where our science and research can become most useful for people this is why integrated landscape approaches has become an important foundation for CFOR's work. We challenge the conventional institutional fragmentation and seek new ways of collaborating and discovering opportunities and solutions. It's not always easy. Habits, safety and comfort in our own subject, on our own sectors, in our own institutions may make us feel threatened. The roots are deep. So we need to work in new partnerships. CIFOR is leading the Global Landscapes Forum, which has become a platform for thousands of partners from every sector and walk of life. And we want to advance sustainable landscapes. In the next five years, we aim to reach and involve one billion people as a global community of landscapes. We think that like the World Economic Forum, the Global Landscapes Forum is on track to become a major positive factor for sustainable development, founded in research and focusing on local priorities. So, Your Majesties, Excellencies, it's been a privilege to share some thoughts about the breadth, of, breadth and diversity of forestry. It's also a privilege to work with all members of the C4 Global team really make a difference that counts proving how forestry and landscapes can enhance environment and well-being for all thank you very much <laughs>